No Ole Alone is a project aimed at ensuring that new immigrants are not alone on the Seder night, the first night of Passover on Friday night. Liami Lawrence is founder and executive director of the Keep Olim in Israel movement, which is running this campaign. Keep Olim is a post-Aliyah movement, organization, a nonprofit set up to help Olim stay in Israel through a series of programs and services that we're lacking. And we do everything from having a Facebook group of 25,000 Olim from all over the world. We started with that and we have free legal aid. We provide free legal aid for Olim up to a year in Israel. In fact, my co-founder and partner, Sweeka Griver was in Jerusalem and he just won a case this morning for an Ole from America that was stopped by police and they accused the American license that he had of not being authentic and they just won a lot of money for the gentleman in court. Tell me what you're doing so, ahead of Pesach now. Okay, so we have many different projects. Uh, the one for Pesach in particular is called No Ole Alone, which means No Ole Alone, that nobody should be alone during Passover. And we have put out all over social media that Israelis should open up their homes to Olim because there are many Olim that come here and don't have family and friends. And we're overwhelmed with how many people. It's so beautiful to see so far that 150 Israelis have offered so far to help. And we still need a few more. So if your listeners want to participate, go to keepolim.org, K-E-E-P-O-L-I-M.org, and they can register to host an OLE. And if you have only, uh, listeners that are Olim, and they still want to register to for a place to go for Passover, uh, also go there and register. So we want to make sure that every person, nobody is alone, no one is alone for mm -hmm. Passover. And we have, mm -hmm. we have many different programs like this. We have everything from Bikor Cholim, where no one is in the hospital, uh, or recovering from the hospital, and we shower them with love and affection, and also cook for them sometimes as well. When Liam, they, yeah, Liam, a word about where you came from, how long you've been here, and why you formed this organization. Sure. So I made Aliyah 18 months ago, and I was leaving the country after nine months. And this is known it's all over media already, that I was leaving after nine months. I went to Facebook and started a group just to vent, to yell at Israel. And in five days, 3,000 people joined this group. And that was the impetus to start Keep Olim. And I said, why don't we empower ourselves? Why don't we, instead of bitching and venting, why don't we turn it into a positive? Why don't we start doing programs? And we formed an Amuta, and the Amuta started in August. We started to raise money for it in December. And now we're raising money for all the programs that we're doing. We're starting mental health counseling. One third of all suicides in Israel are Olib Khadashim. We hope to have more of that interview on keeping Olim together, keeping them in Israel, and that service that is provided to ensure that no one, no Ole, is alone for Pesach. To the weather forecast.